Good morning, Dr. Eric Kleginski here, coming to you from Fanwood Back Relief Center in Fanwood, New Jersey. Today we're gonna to offer you some helpful tips for recovering from shoveling a lot of snow. Um, just like you guys, over the past few days, I've been shoveling a lot of snow, both at home and at the office. Um, and my back has is, is, is been sore waking up in the morning. I even had some pain going down into my, into my butt and a little bit of my leg, um, which obviously can be scary. But if you know what to do at home, the recovery can be very speedy. So this is what I like to do at home. Uh, number one, ice, 15 to 20 minutes on the area. The way I like to ice is I, I like to lay on my living room floor um, with my legs elevated at a right degree angle onto the couch or a chair. So this will flatten out the lower back. It'll take some of the stress off the joints. It actually decompresses the joints a little bit too by elevating the legs like that. Takes some stress off the spine. That's how I like to ice. You don't have to do it if you're more comfortable laying down flat or in a chair. That's fine as well. This is just what I find to be the most comfortable position when my back is sore. Um, after icing, one of the things I like to do is some gentle stretching and mobilization. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything specific. It can be just bending down to touch your toes, bringing your knees towards your chest, rotating your legs to the left and right, um, maybe some mini circles or bigger circles with your waist um, going in both directions. You want to just mobilize. You want to open up, decompress the joints, and stretch the tissues. Uh, foam roll is also good if you have a foam roller at home. Uh, the one thing I'll tell you about the foam roller is don't go too aggressive. Um, for me, I usually go 10 to 12, maybe 15 passes on the left side of my lower back and on the right. I don't really dig in too deep, um, but just kind of stretching and elongating the tissue will help decompress the joints of the spine. If you don't have a foam roller at home, that's fine as well. So we got icing, 15 to 20 minutes, and this can be done every hour. We have mobilization, stretching, and some light foam rolling. The last thing I like to do is, um, well, I'm sorry, not the last thing. The second last thing I like to do is either take a hot shower or use a hot compress. Um, I tend to stay away from and tell my patients to stay away from any dry heat, but a moist hot, hot pack will help. Um, the way if you don't have a moist hot pack at home, you can just get a hand towel, dampen it, put it in the microwave, make sure it's not too hot, and just lay it across your back. Um, and just leave it on until it starts to get cool. Um, you can alternate the ice and the heat. Um, we call this contrast therapy and it helps to drive down any inflammation caused by the excessive use and then the heat will help to bring circulation of blood to the area and promote healing. And then the last thing is if you have some sort of cream like BioFreeze, I like BioFreeze, uh, but there's a lot of different uh, relief creams on the market uh, that you can use. You don't have to put on too much, just enough to kind of heat up the tissue and that will help a recovery as well. Of course, if your pain is persisting, you're still getting pain in your lower back and if it's going into your leg, if you're getting any type of numbness, tingling or weakness, these are signs that there's something more serious going on or if the pain is not getting better day to day, please give us a call, shoot us a message. You don't want to wait too long. Sometimes uh, something as simple as a sore back can be corrected in one or two visits rather than several weeks. Uh, that does not need to be a bigger issue. But of course, if you have any questions, you're unsure, just feel free to shoot us a message. That's all we have today. Hopefully this helps with your snow, um, snow recovery, snow soreness recovery. Um, we're grateful for all the support we get on our page and we appreciate it. And enjoy your day and be safe.